Hello, and welcome to Rock Your Block. I'm your host, Larry Laws. On today's segment of First Home Alliance, our guest is not a stranger to the show. She was a guest on the show eight years ago. During that time, she was my mentor as I was getting started with Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals, VA Rep. She served as the Washington, D.C. chapter president and as state director before serving on the VA Rep Corporate Board of Directors. She is a person with many skills and talents. She is a property manager and HUD certified counselor. Please welcome to the show, Christine Ophis. Christine, Thank you, Larry. welcome back. Thank you for yes. inviting me back. Yes, yeah, and like I mentioned, you uh, you're so talented. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. And so, yeah, and so uh, how are you um, able to manage the things that you do? I don't know. I ask myself that, and I ask God every day to come inside it and to help me get through the day, because being a property manager, and I'm also mm -hmm. a realtor, but I do less of that, more of property management and housing counseling. And I must say, it keeps it keeps me busy. It does. So I had to create boundaries. Yes. So I can be fresh for, for all my clients. Yes. And speaking of that, mm -hmm. you know, each time, you know, I guess we actually run into each other at least once a year. At one time, once it was or twice. Yeah, once or twice a <laughs> mm -hmm. year now. Uh, eight years ago, it was a monthly. It was monthly. You know, and that's where I got my guidance in the, you know, into the VA rep. But uh, each time I meet you or we have a chance to have a, a longer discussion, mm -hmm. I find out even more. Yep. Yeah, I knew about the children, but I didn't know. Your grandparents yes. of six, of six, six grandkids. I have the Brady Bunch, three girls, three boys. Yes, yep. yes. And so um, how do you manage to, you know, have the professional career, uh, do a lot of the volunteer work, the management company, mm -hmm. and also you have family? Well, I'm, I'm now by myself. You know, after I moved back in the area, I took care of my mom for a while. Mm -hmm. So after that run, it was more or less like, wow, I have a lot more time. You know, I felt like I had time to feel kids grown. You know, I see my grandkids often, mm -hmm. um, but uh, most of the time it's just me taking care of me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I get to have my grandchildren over like I did last weekend. My granddaughter was five years old and she mm -hmm. spent the weekend with me. So I, I managed to find time for what really matters, which is family yes. and um, volunteer work. And of course, making a living. Right. But I have pulled back a lot from what I used to do. Correct. So I have, um, I have, like I said, I have boundaries now, and, and I decided, you know, I'm going to pull it in and have a schedule. Yes, I have to have a schedule. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go back, I mean, you have over 20 years' experience in uh, real estate. If we go back, you mm -hmm. know, what brought you, uh, or what intrigued you in reference to real estate, you Why know, that industry? I, I can say that my, I had an uncle, my dad's brother. He was a property manager, right? I had no clue what that meant. Mm -hmm. And one summer I got to work for him and I still was not fully engaged. I was just answering the phone. And um, I ended up as a at working for a very uh, well-known DC, Virginia and Maryland property managed, commercial property management company. Okay. And I ended up becoming a property manager through that, moved through the ranks and became a property manager for commercial real estate, you know, like the class A buildings yes. and really, you know, retail shops and things. Had no clue that there were people taking care of the buildings. I just thought the buildings were nice and clean and I don't know how it <laughs> happened. I just went to work there and, you know, it just was beautiful every morning. But um, I, after, the, after a time, DC required us to have real estate licenses. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be a realtor. And so um, our company had us get our real estate licenses and I sold one home and I think I caught the, the bug. The bug. <laughs> and I really enjoyed, I enjoyed doing commercial property management as yeah. well. But um, I decided to leave after my father passed away. I wanted to have more time and flexibility to take care of my mother. Okay. Um, to be there if she needed me. So that was one of the things that happened. I, I made a transition out of commercial world into the flexibility or so I thought at the time and that was right before the crash. And okay. I just put a, my youngest child in college. Okay. <clears throat> so that was a rough time. That was a rough time. I had residential properties on the market. And then um, I ended up meeting developers who had purchased um, apartment buildings and revitalized them into uh, residential 
condos. Yes. And they got caught during that crisis when the, when the market was going Correct. down. They couldn't sell them at what they, you know, told the bank they were going to sell them for, right? right? So right. we ended up, I ended up getting hired for two um, developers in the area to manage those. To manage, okay. Yeah, and so after doing that, I realized why I was in commercial. Or, I said, no, residential, <laughs> multi-units on that scale, <laughs> yes. not for me. Yes. So I decided to go with the boutique management company, okay. and I'm very selective. Okay, um, and so um, is that your company now? That's is my that company correct? now, okay. the Victoria Group, yes. And so I'm very selective. You know, through through time, uh, me and my business partner and a person, we and I both, you know, we, we've learned, we've, we've learned through okay. <laughs> trial and error that where we want to be in that in that space, yes. right? So that is now working really well for us. Okay, and how did you, um, uh, you know, in the industry, mm -hmm. and how did you come across VA rep? Addie Graves. Okay. Veteran spouse. Okay, yes, yes she is. Um, I think I had, you know, told her I was working for the, had been working for the county for a time in their, um, and in, in, uh, we had um, an initiative under the Obama administration, and that was to increase exports. Correct. So I was an internet, I was a part of the international development, and I was also into the local development um, division, trying to keep businesses in the county. Okay. So she's like, yo, so you work, to, you work for the government, right? So you can be the government affairs director. Right. And that's how it happened. <laughs> the, the, the chapter was being led by, um, I forgot her name, um, but she was being, it was being led by her and I became the government affairs director at that time. And then a year later, I became the chapter president. Yes. And then I found you. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> and you became the vice president. Yes, and yes. And the rest is history. Yes. And so what has kept your interest in that? Why uh, the wow. veteran? Because, you know, when I met you, mm -hmm. and uh, so I was introduced to VA rep. Someone mm -hmm. said, you should go check this out. It was one of the uh, financial institutions that, said, yo, you work with veterans? You know, this is a group you should uh, seek out. Mm -hmm. And then when I met, I thought that the, most of the members, or all the members at the time, was veterans. Right. And I actually thought right. you was a veteran. No, I'm not yeah, a veteran. I thought you had served. I was, I had did everything to become a better, to become a, you know, active duty. Um, I was going to go into Air Force. Okay. I had my two brothers are veterans. And so I was followed with, you know, wanted to follow what they did. And my dad talked me out of it. Okay. So I, you know, all I had, all I had to do, he let me go through the whole summer going out with the officers, right. went through all of the preparation. Only thing I had to do was the swearing in. Yes. And they dropped me off one day. And I said, Dad, I'm, you know, next week I do the swearing in. You'll have to come. And he said, bye bye to them, close the door, sit down. And I guess I didn't want to go in bad enough after really? he <laughs> talked to me <laughs> and told me about who I was. Yes. You know, that I, you can't call me and say, Daddy, come get me. Right. Right. Because oftentimes That's true. I would do that. I didn't want to spend the night over nobody's house, oh, much yeah. less, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he in, um, you, uh, the Lackland Air Force Base, because yes. that's where I was going to, yes. to go. And so VA rep, you've been VA rep for a number of years, I guess. For a of years. Um, and so, what are some of the things the VA rep does? Well, one of the things that I could say I could interject. Another reason why I came in is because I recognized that um, there was a large population who did not understand the housing purchase process. I was one of the people in that population, and then I saw how my brother had purchased when I first got into VA rep. I learned about the loan product. Mm -hmm. I had a I had a buyer who was a veteran. I was terrified. I didn't. I had to get a mentor to help me with him. Right. And um, because I didn't understand the product, and I didn't want to um, delve into an area that wasn't really what you know good in as a realtor, because I was a you know new realtor and everything. And um, I started learning a little bit about it, but I didn't learn anything until I got to VA Rep. I mean, yes. it just my eyes opened up. Yes. And I wanted to tell every veteran I knew, beginning with my brother, who had, who had invested in several homes, but he only bought one with his VA loan. Yes. 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 And then I, yes. you know, that was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And know. we're going to talk about, I know, what the work that you're doing now. Mm -hmm. But on the on the national level, what are some of the things that the VA rep does around the country? Oh, wow. Yeah. Because you actually worked on a national uh, also. VA rep has mm -hmm. almost um, has many chapters throughout the country. Mm -hmm. And in those chapters, you have realtors and lenders mostly, and you have other people who are within the industry, in the real estate industry, and their mission is to educate financial literacy, yes. educate realtors and lenders about the VA loan product. Mm -hmm. And they do bunch and learns to do that. They also raise funds for um, 
the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign. You know, right. as, as you know, veterans, there was a time where, you know, veterans were um, committing suicide, Correct. 21 a day, but it, the numbers go up and, and such, depending on what's going on. So the Stop, Drop, and Push campaign helps with veterans getting, whether it be um, support animal care or any other care that would help them through that process. Yes, and some of the other things they did do with that, uh, just uh, recently I know they had sent out uh, asking for um, recommendations for Camp Cares. Camp Cares. Yes, tell us a little bit about Camp Cares. Camp Cares is a, a place to go f for veterans to um, also who are struggling with PTSD, trauma of any kind. They go to this camp for fly fishing and, and all sorts of things to talk and to uh, gather with people who are going through the same thing. Right. And um, that is funded. And, you know, we oftentimes put out information to the public saying, if you know anyone who would benefit from this, you know, you know, call this number or register here. Right. And we go through that process of vetting and there they are, they end up going okay. and enjoy it. All right, and just a little bit about the House and the Vet. It's a beautiful place. Yes, yeah, so what about House and the Vet? How's a vet program? Yes. I've been a part of that through, <laughs> through counseling. How's a vet program is when we give away a mortgage-free home mm -hmm. to a veteran. In um, Jacksonville, Florida, that was one of the most recent ones that we did. In Jacksonville, Florida, and we go through a vetting process. We go through several interviews with them, and we can only select one. It's very difficult. I was just in the selection process of one, and at our national conference, we will show, you know, present that person and sh it shows that they really have a mortgage-free home. They yes. go through counseling after they get it. They have to meet certain marks Correct. to finally keep the home. And I must say this, the program has been very successful through the years. Yes, okay, and just a minute, I know you have two uh, national um, pro large uh, events each year. Mm -hmm. Can we just mention those and then we're gonna delve into uh, housing counseling. Sure, every year we have a policy conference in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and that is about policy changes, and we've been doing that since whew, 2012. Policy yes. changes, any ch any barriers that will affect the veteran or active duty member with home buying, we have addressed those. We've gotten um, congressional representatives to champion some of those, and we have a lot of those, you know, uh, bills on the table to yes. move that forward. And okay. one of the things that we, we, we've been successful with is changing the uh, loan application, which is a, which is a, was, a big, was a really big deal because it often left money on the table for the veteran who closed and, and didn't tell his realtor or the lender they were veterans. <laughs> right. Right? So, yes. Okay. Yeah. And the, uh, uh, what about the, the annual uh, oh, conference? Oh, the annual conference this yes. year will be in Tennessee, Nashville. That is a great uh, place for the chapters to attend. Okay. because they will get um, refreshed, renewed, and refocused. Yes. So they can come back to the chapters to do what, you know, to, to fulfill the mission. So that's where that takes place, okay. more and training. Yes, and I know we, we're gonna talk about that HUD counseling. Yes. You know, I know we're gonna take a short break and we'll okay. come back and dove in, dive All into right. that. Okay, mm -hmm. we're about to take a short break, but before we go, I would like to remind you that First Home Alliance is a HUD approved housing counseling agency serving the national capital area. If you are a first time home buyer or homeowner in need of mortgage assistance, please visit the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development website to find a HUD approved agency in your area. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. You're watching Rock Your Block. I'm your host, Larry Laws of First Home Alliance. And if you're just now tuning in, you are joined today with HUD Certified Counselor, Christine Ophis. Christine, just before the break, mm -hmm. we started to talk about HUD, mm -hmm. but I want you to explain to us a little bit about USA Home Ownership Foundation. All right, US Home, USA Home Ownership Foundation is a part of the ARAP, but that arm is counseling, education. And what we do, we, we um, on a daily basis, we have calls from people who are losing their homes, um, who are seeking pre-purchase counseling, and who need help with credit, or in now even rental issues. Okay. So every day we're helping them save, which we look to save their homes through many options that they may have, and pre-purchase counseling so they're ready, mortgage ready. Correct and being able to purchase and be sustainable in their home. And of course, credit counseling and rental issues when we are, when tenants are faced with some fair housing violations, we help them. Yes, that. now uh, I think uh, before this set, we was actually talking about uh, the home prices mm -hmm. and getting into the home, but if you relate that to uh, uh, veterans, how uh, important it is for them to receive free HUD counseling and education? How important? Yes. Well, they sacrificed. They made a lot of sacrifices. So veterans typically have a unique situation specific in their families. Um, so we offer that service for free. We make sure that they understand the VA loan product and we, under we wanna make sure that they are in a good position to buy a home. And that's done through budgeting, planning, and making sure they understand all the responsibilities of home ownership. Yes. before we give that green light and feel confident that they are ready to make that move for home purchasing. Yes, yeah. and you mentioned, and so you bring, you, you're unique, and so you bring a lot of experience in with uh, yes. your property management, and how do that uh, basically impact your position as a counselor when it comes to fair housing? Fair housing, I would say I bring um, that to the table of being very aware of the, fair, the federal, state, and local fair housing laws. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning them throughout the country because we, <laughs> I talk to people throughout the country as well as the statutes, um, the legislation for tenant landlord and obligations of home pro housing providers, albeit HUD or a private homeowner, and mm -hmm. making sure that they are upholding to that and that tenants are, are not, um, you know, um, yeah. in any situation yeah. that um, is not in within that framework. Yes, yeah. and uh, also, um, Normally, I would ask the story of maybe a, a, a veteran that you have you have helped, mm -hmm. you know, in a situation. But I I was intrigued by what you mentioned on the base that you had opportunity to stay on a base just a, a oh, weekend. Oh yes, this past and, weekend. Yes, go ahead, yes. tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, this past weekend, I had the uh, the opportunity to stay to stay at Dover Air Force Base, which is basically a sacred place because that's where um, a lot of our veterans come back after you know passing away at war or being killed. And I was there as a guest of my brother who was a veteran from the Gulf War. And he um, he lost a large part of his hearing in that war. However, he came home, Yes, right? <laughs> He's home. So veterans fought for our freedoms. And um, regardless of how, how often we think of it, to say thank you for your service and really understand what that means, I was reminded how all gave some and some gave it all. Yes. So for that reason, I think it's very important that we serve. And that was one of the reasons why I really got involved with VA Rep because there's a lot of homelessness amongst veterans. Correct. There's a lot of PTSD amongst veterans where they don't know what benefits they even have. Mm -hmm. So I, I, ch I just really love seeing them light up when they realize that they have a pathway and an understanding of the benefits that they sacrificed for us to get. Yes. So that is at the crux of why I do what I do. That's yeah. what motivates me. Well, we appreciate that. <laughs> we definitely appreciate that. And I know Sung that actually, you know, that founded the organization, mm -hmm. you know, VA Rep, and that he saw, you know, among the other VSOs, the mm -hmm. Veteran Service Organization, housing uh, and financial literacy education was one of those um, uh, things that we have earned, but actually didn't have a, a advocate there, there for us. Right. And so what do you actually bring to the uh, workshops and that you actually uh, uh, provide for our, our veterans? Okay, for the day of the workshop, Workshops, I try to bring excitement. I, I try to make it not so, um, well, we, we allow them to actually get involved. We have them do a budget. We ask questions. We 
we just get into it. We find out where they're spending their money on and things <laughs> like that. And it's pretty fun. And mm -hmm. we have giveaways. We ask them questions. We want to, you know, uh, make sure that the information is being retained yes. and understood. So there's, it's a four hour class. Okay. And um, we go through the whole process. We have a lender to speak about the, um, the lending part, that section. And we have a realtor who talks about the home buying process. And we have a lot of information for them to utilize, even about rental and mortgage foreclosure, because some people may be in the audience that are going through that, but won't Correct. say anything. Yes. And um, we also provide two hour counseling afterwards and they get their certificate, their housing counseling certificate, which opens them up to down payment assistance programs. Okay. And they you do all this at no charge? No charge. Okay. <laughs> it's not like we you're giving a lot. for no charge. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, what are you, uh, some of the barriers that uh, some of our veterans face of uh, getting into homeownership? I would say some of the barriers are just not knowing the information. One of the bigger barriers and those who are serving them not knowing the information correctly. Yes. Um, sometimes the, the myths that are out there, whether it you know, be from the seller, you know, saying that, you know, um, oh, I don't want, I don't want a, uh, an offer from a veteran because it's going to cost me too much money because I'm going to have to fix A, B, and C. Well, the same, it's the same across the board. Mm -hmm. No lender wants anybody to go into a house that's not safe, sanitary, or sound. And that's all the VA wants for the veteran in the active duty as well. Okay. With uh, looking ahead, uh, what do you, what trends or what do you see, um, you know, changes in housing counseling? What do you see? Ooh, changes in housing counseling. Well, uh, last month, um, 20, I think it was $20 million was poured into the VASH program. That's the Veterans Assistant um, Shelter. It's, it's, it's like a voucher. You know, we, we call them vouchers for people who need rentals. Yes. It's a voucher that helps veterans who are transitioning from homelessness into housing. Yes. Um, for veterans, that's a big deal. It really helps with the housing, the homeless crisis that we that we have and reducing it. And I know that there was a time where the, there weren't enough VASH, uh, VASH um, I want to call them coupons, yeah, voucher. but vouchers, yes. vouchers mm -hmm. out there for them. Yes. Yeah. And I do know, uh, I, I mentioned that uh, for veterans with the VA loan, mm -hmm. uh, there's a um, moratorium on foreclosures yes, until the end of the year. December until the, yes. yes. And so they cannot be foreclosed on with the VA loan. Mm -hmm. And there was one other, I uh, forget the uh, regulation, but in reference to some type of assistance that may be coming up for the uh, a veteran loan, a VA loan. Veteran assistance? If you have a VA loan, you know, mm -hmm. in reference to preventing uh, going through the foreclosure. Right, I believe it's the, um, just the, the, the pause. The pause, The yes. pause, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And so, uh, Christine, mm -hmm. if uh, so, and of course we have an event coming up on November the 9th, mm -hmm. and uh, just briefly, uh, 30 seconds, tell us about what's going on. Well, on that day, I'm collaborating with First Home Alliance and VFW Post number 114 for a long day, a symposium, educating, educating, and an appreciation day. And I will be teaching the help class. All right, great. So that is, um, that's going to be a big day. Okay. A long and, day. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so if they want to find out more information about the um, that day and how they can find out more information about home, USA Home Ownership. They can go to varep.org online and look under events and also see USA Home Ownership Foundation on there. Okay. Okay. I want to thank you, Christine, for coming thank in you. on the show today. All right. And looking forward to seeing you in November. All right. I look forward. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this interview with Christine Ophis. For more information about USA Homeownership Foundation, you may visit their website and you may follow them on social media. Now it's time to check out the inbox to see how we can help rock your blog. This is where we share recent questions sent to us from you, our Vienna audience about financial stability and housing. Today's question comes from Springfield, Virginia. I'm a military veteran. How do I know if I'm eligible for a VA home loan guarantee program? That's a good question. It comes from, it comes from, that question is many of our active duty service members, reservists and veterans have. The first thing you need to do is to obtain your COE. That's your certificate of eligibility. This form will let you know if you're eligible for the VA loan and the amount of the eligibility you have. You can get this form from your online account at va.gov. 
You can also contact a VA Rep chapter member in your area by visiting varep.net to find a local chapter near you. I'm Larry Laws of First Home Alliance, and it's been my pleasure sharing with you our mission and highlighting the impact of our services. If you have questions about financial fitness or how we can help make your dream of homeownership a success, send your question to our inbox and tune into our next show to see if your question was selected to be shared with our audience. You may get more information by visiting us on the web at firsthomealliance.org. Thank you for watching today's segment of First Home Alliance, and join us next time to rock your block. Glad to know that, you know, some of this stuff about, like, I don't know, credit and buying houses is, like, written down somewhere. A lot of the times it's always hearsay, like other friends or family members who have bought houses before, but they can never, you know, tell you legit what you need to get done and do before buying a house. I definitely think this class should be required for all first home buyers because um, a lot of times the real estate agent doesn't explain the process to you. So I think this is very important. Uh, it's from the credit up to receiving a loan. And the most important thing is the process that you go through when you're buying the house. And there are a lot of process which you don't have idea about that before you take this class. Speakers who came up and spoke about each section, they were very knowledgeable in their field and I felt like they it was relatable. They didn't just throw out a whole bunch of terms that went over my head, but they really explained it in in a way to where I you know, understood it and I could even explain it to my children and it was even easier for me to take home and kind of remember and, and process and, and apply to my next steps. Um, the process was amazing. They start first with a class before even finding a lender or agent. So I did all that and I wasn't able to purchase and then I was like, oh, you know what, there's a lot of information I'm not aware of. Let me just start from the beginning to put everything on hold. Piecing the information together because you've heard things from about the loans and about this and about the credit, but this is like a summary and it just gives a clear flow of where to go with what you have and kind of building up a plan. So that kind of gives me a whole picture of where I needed to go and how to get there.